How's it going, everyone? Well, I'm on a recording tutorial rampage today. I'm recording tutorial videos for Mario Kart Wii and hacking it. So today, we already well, we've already done texture hacking. So now we're going to go into music hacking. And it's a little more complicated than texture hacking, and as in there's a few more steps in, involved. So let's get started with what you need. So first you need the Mario Kart Wii ISO, of course, um, and you can get that through Google, and there are various downloads that will give you the entire ISO, and uh, you should be able to find that by Googling Mario Kart Wii ISO. Um, the next thing, you need, or you can, as I said um, in the previous video, you can also get the ISO through using your retail disk in the Wii, and you can use a program to convert it to an ISO and download it to your computer. Forgot about that option, but that's also another option for you. After you get that, the next thing you need is Wii Scrubber, which you can get by just Googling in Wii Scrubber. I'll include a link in the description, and uh, it will be a direct link. So you can just click that and download. And we'll be using that to import or export the music files, which only will are, be a reference for us in the size department, so we can match up size files. Um, and then you'll need a decent audio editor. And that includes Audacity is a good one. I use Neural Wave Editor. Um, anything that will edit the volume of the sound, basically, so we can increase it. That's all it needs to do. And then once you once we're done with editing our MP3 or WAV file, we can we're going to use the BCSM GUI 1.5, which will convert the WAV or MP3 into BRSTM format, which is what the Nintendo ISO uses for audio files. And then once we've imported the BRS team back into our ISO, overriding the old one, we use a blank, we just be able to burn it with a blank, onto a blank DVD RW, or R, or copy it to our hard drive and play it on our Wii. So let's get started here on the process. So we're going to open up Wii Scrubber, which I have right here, and you're going to load the ISO. Um, so by doing such, I'm going to go here, just load your Mario Kart Wii ISO. And in here, there's three partitions. And you'll notice um, the one's update, one's data, one's installer. You'll know the data partition, of course. Scroll down and find sound. And then go into the STRM folder. And here we are with our all the music files in the game, mostly. And they're just labeled. They're separated by type, so all the new courses have an N. Um, R64, etc. And then there's some multi tracks which you won't be able to music hack very well because they use different layers of sound. And you can only place one, so it leaves blank space on some parts of those tracks. But those are just a few where the music environment changes, such as Bowser's Castle. Um, so, anyway, we're going to move on, and then now we're going to do a an export, or an extract. So we right click on one of the files, this is Block Plaza here, and just click Extract, and then I'm just going to save the file to a folder, and here we are. You have your BRSTM file, and this is going to tell us the size of the original, which we need to stay under. Um, so this original music file is 2.18 megabytes. So in our when we uh, and when we're all done converting the file with the BCSM GUI, it's got to be less than 2.18 meg, 2.18 meg, to keep looping properly when you drive on the track. Otherwise, the audio file will just cut out. And in some cases, I've seen the game freeze. So it's an important thing to remember. So now we know this information, we can come in and uh, m edit a file and get it imported. So I'm going to open my audio editor here and we're gonna go file open and I'm just gonna pick a sound from uh, in here alright so we're just gonna choose a file here Mario Party 1 yes so we're gonna go and choose this one here so we're gonna open your file up and here it is in our in stereo and we need for first of all we need to come in and increase the volume so 
what I recommend doing first is doing a save as and making a copy of this file specifically for this purpose. So I'm going to say mp3 with the uh, pro, mp3 pro. And this gets us down to the what we need. You're going to mess with the quality of the audio to make it small enough, which, you know, it's kind of a pain, but I need to do it multiple times. But I'm just going to go ahead and do... We can leave it in stereo. So I'm going to need to resave this. So DSP Gardens. All right, it's so not saving. <clears throat> okay, so first thing we need to do in actually editing the file is to come in here and I'm going to say loudness in this case. In this program, it's called loudness. Just find an option to increase the volume. So I usually increase it around seven or eight, eight to, or seven to ten decibels would be about right. Anywhere in there. So, we're just going to click that, that, and resave it to see the, how it affects the um, loudness. Alright, so that looks about right. Um, you know, if they're just, the bars are near the top, but it's not too blaringly loud, that's when you know that you have uh, about the right file. So that sounds about right. So now what we'll do is go and save the thing. And this is where the process comes in of saving is doing a using the BCM BCSM converter. So let's go and pull that up. Alright. Okay, so you just run the uh, exe here, you just extract it from the archive when you first download it. And okay, so so now what we do is we have this open, and we just click Add over here in the library. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. And I guess that doesn't work here. I'm gonna take this file and. We already know it's too big because it converts to about double the size of the Wave or MP3. I'm what I'm actually doing is taking the repeat in the file out, so we can lessen the size. So it's, the file is essentially shorter, but playing the same thing as only looping once. But to the game, it will just infinitely loop because we're keeping the size under um, the original. So we're going to do that, and then boom. So you to just to guess and check once you. Um, once you get to a size where you think it's going to, and it becomes too big once it's converted to BRSTM, you're going to start draining the file's quality to get it below that size of the original file here. So, once you just drag your file into this conversion box when you hit add, and once you do that, you want to make sure the loop's checked, which it is by default, and then just click convert. Let's go ahead and convert. And finalizing and it is done. So now we come in here, go to library and do DS Peach Gardens. And boom, our file is indeed smaller than the original. Right here. So 2.1 meg and we're one point as long as you're smaller, that's all that matters, it will loop um, continuously in the game. So now that we have our smaller file, we can come down here and find the appropriate. So DS Garden. Um, and just do an e replace. And then just find this file. Boom, hit open. And it will replace. And it will and it will say successfully replaced and Boom, then your, mu your new music file is implemented in your game on the track you want. And that is it. I mean, we have successfully imported our file into a wave editor, exported it out into an MP3, then converted it with our BC BCSM GUI tool into a BRSTM, imported it back into ISO, and now you have 
and now it's in the game. So once you've done that and you've edited as many songs as you like or all of them, you can burn it to a blank DVD R or W with either a program such as Nero or IMG Burns, a free alternative. Um, or if you're using a hard drive, you can use WBFS Manager and then edit the, or just copy the ISO to the drive, add it, and then you can play the game and then it'll be on the track. And um, that is it. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to do some editing on this file of some unexpected things, such as unexpected size and editing. So there'll be some cut-ins, but I, it should make it clear, and uh, I hope this helps people. And if there are any unclear things, just leave a comment in the description, and or in the comments, and we'll get it addressed. And yeah, so the thank you all for watching. I hope this helps everyone.